come on, you dirty piece of shit, you're gonna make me late. Thank God. Well, it's another glorious day in an undisclosed oil field at a top secret location that nobody knows about. We're gonna move some frack stuff. Getting real good at moving frack stuff. Just a location move. It does get a little chaotic during the end. We get a windstorm and it gets really dusty. That's an understatement. But hey, we're all dudes. Summer. We can question, handle though. it. And in the last five minutes, maybe a little more than five and a half, we're gonna have a motivational speech and I want you guys to listen to it closely. It's a good one. <laughs> I've been keeping myself so busy Pushing out the misery Trying to find the peace in me So purely, I'm pushing myself to the edge 
Testing myself by the worst I've been pushing my mind to the most I've been Loving the people I don't understand when people say they're bored because I, if I had the time to live a hundred lives I'd be speaking different languages I'd be living in different countries I would I would try a, a number of different careers because I think there's a lot of unbelievably fascinating puzzling complex things that you can study in this world mm. through difficult tasks you learn an incredible amount about yourself and uh, you through through the fire of competition you get to understand motivation you get to understand the resistance that you have inside your mind to doing hard work you get to understand the rewards of discipline like you don't truly appreciate relaxation unless you've worked hard one of the worst decisions a man can make um, is to be comfortable where I came from if somebody made a lot of money they're, they're lucky cheaters criminal got from the parents they, they lucked out or they're cheating the system. Why is it easier to believe that? Because by choosing to believe that, it's like you still get to be confident about your life choices because you can find a way through mental gymnastics to look down on that person. I was running from the darkness. I mean, times were dark. I was deeply in debt and I had a family and I'm trying to start a business. I'm trying to do my work. I'm trying to fulfill my purpose, even though I don't even know what it is. But I'm just running. A lot of you guys are like that. Run! You should run because you shouldn't live in darkness. But if you keep on running, you're gonna see that light. You're gonna see that, that little, that, at the end of the tunnel. It just looks, in the beginning, it just looks like a little circle. And that's when things start working out a little bit. You start to say, hey, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting some rewards from this. And as you keep going towards it, what happens to that little circle, right? It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And you just keep running. And you start to feel the euphoria, the passion, the excitement associated with getting closer and closer and closer until it starts to absorb you. Don't quit on the unknown. Because every day when things go wrong, they sometimes will. When the road that you tread in seems all uphill. When cares are pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learn. Many a failure turned about, though he might have won had he stuck it out. So don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You might succeed with just another blow. Success is may turn turned inside out, the silver tins of the cloud of doubt. You never know how close you are. You might be near, but you seem so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things go wrong, you must not quit. What if I told you you died this week? Would you complain about your crap job or that test you don't want to take? I doubt it. You would go much higher level thinking. Well, that's really what it takes. It takes understanding that if you're not pumped right now, if you're begrudging what you're about to do, if you're, if you're not looking forward to it, look, I respect practicality. You gotta go through school because your parents want to. You gotta pay your rent. You got student loans, I get it. But please recognize the world we're living in. We're living in a world where there's so much more opportunity. I'm gonna make Monday morning my bitch. I'm gonna make you Saturday Monday morning. That's what I wanna do every morning, and that's what I want from you. Please, take a step back and think about how awesome it actually is to be born during this 
era. You're struggling to stay up to study. You're struggling to pass this class. You're struggling to pass this test. I'm talking to you, this business owner out there. You feel that your company is going down the drain. You feel that you're not hitting the numbers you want to hit. Don't give up. Now it's time to dig deep. You athletes out there, you think that your competitors are better than you. There's somebody who's going to take your position. Turn up your game. Step up to the next level. Take practice more serious. Put more hours in. Put more time in. This is what being an athlete is all about. The challenge. Challenge yourself to reach another level. Challenge yourself to beat your competitors. Challenge yourself to be a starter. Challenge yourself to win the championship. Stop wasting your time complaining. Stop wasting your time listening to your haters. Your haters want you to fail. Right now, make the decision that you won't give up. Make the decision that you won't give in. Greatness is not only talked about. It's about the work that you put in.